hosting duties here today. This is my beautiful co-host, Francine Beckel. How excited are you about this parade this year? Beyond excited, Dustin. It's so great to be here again in person. Beautiful weather, beautiful faces. I cannot wait until you see what we have in store today. Yeah, we have a lot of surprises, a lot of high energy stuff going on. And this year, and I'm going to believe that this is the largest parade in the world and in the state of Hawaii. Yes, we were very surprised. The last time we were sitting here together um, in Waikiki was 2019. And after that year, we realized we were the largest, most colorful parade in the state. This year, just to give you a benchmark, we had 106 units back in 2019. This year, we have 153. Fully loaded parade. Um, let's paint a picture of what people are going to expect and what they're going to see today. Uh, with all the floats and the energy, how would you describe it? Oh, we're going to see some creativity, some color, some pizzazz. Uh, we have a ton of floats this year, um, bigger and more decorative than ever. I can tell you that much. Um, speaking from personal experience, uh, our float is pretty massive. Okay. We'll, we'll see that um, shortly. All right. And, um, you know, as far as Waikiki, you know, the streets, well, I thought they were closed, but they Looks like we see some cars coming right now. They're going to close momentarily because we are going to get to show on the road and see uh, some of our first folks here momentarily. I talked to some very, very special people to this organization as well as this event. Uh, just to paint a picture also of the weather conditions because that's kind of my jam. All right. Uh, it is a beautiful, warm day here in Waikiki. Temperature about 82 degrees. We have a, a light trade wind and I am happy to say, Francine, and I'm sure you're happy to hear, it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. So on that note, the parade has actually stepped off Magic Island. Um, so we should be expecting them to come through shortly. But in the meantime, we have some great stories for you. All right. Well, now that we got word that the parade has stepped off of Magic Island, let's go to Magic Island where John Veneri and Kelly Simon from Living 808 are standing by, and Mikey Moniz as well. What's the scene on Magic Island, guys? Hello, everybody, and a welcome to the Honolulu Pride Parade 2022. Mikey, John, Kelly are here. We've been here all morning long, you guys. The energy is just amazing. It's like so many people uh, took the time, hours and hours, to get ready for this thing, and it's finally getting started. I was going to say, I think a lot of people are excited that it's not in person, after two years of doing virtual, which is also fun, but nothing beats in-person energy, right? That's right. Again, hours and hours. There's, there's uh, animals, and there's dogs and cats. <laughs> and then there's just so many colorful, colorful people dressed up, and, uh, and then there's us. And there's us. And then we're very colorful, too. I'm going for you, right? Show them Yeah, I got some rainbow eggs going on. I bet everyone, you know, so fast and having a great time. Celebrating love, equality, equity, and pride. So happy pride, everyone. My ear is about to be going on the Alaska Airlines boat, which is right behind us. We see our friends on the Alaska Airlines. Happy pride. Anyways, the energy is just so fun. Stay tuned for the Blue Moon Pride Parade, the biggest parade in the state. And we're definitely feeling the energy over here. And I hope you guys are so excited for all that's to come because we've seen a lot of the floats. It's going to be amazing. Okay. We want to head up to uh, our jolly Mike. He's going to get on the last guy right to We're going to be with Alexander Marlin. We'll see you on the parade round, well, folks. But you know, he's going to be amazing. He's going to be amazing. Oh, it looks like fun. They're going to be on some of the floats. Right? We'll, we'll catch up to them in a little bit. Um, this year's theme. Tell us about this year's theme for the Pride Parade. Sure. This year's theme, um, we had a call out to the public to, to you know, for input because it's a community event. And what we came up with was rooted in pride. And it really stems from our ancestral and cultural roots here in Hawaii as a local community, all the way from the Kauai Mahu stones to trailblazers who came before us to, that really led the path to where we are today. So we're really excited to have some amazing, great people um, that will be passing through here shortly. And that's a great theme, rooted in pride. Keep that in mind as the folks go by, as you see people kind of having fun in this joyous event. Uh, we do have a very special Grand Marshal. Can you tell us who is our Grand Marshal this year? 
Sure, we are so excited to welcome Kompagi's very own Esera. Um, he is a Grand Marshal actually from Waimanalo. He grew up a local boy. Um, he went on to play in the NFL, became the first um, out NFL player. He is multifaceted, like multi talented. He was also featured on The Voice. So, again, very talented, <laughs> also an author, um, an advocate. He also has a nonprofit. He's been going around to local high schools and really inspiring the next generation of students. So, we're really excited to have him here. I think it's great, Grand Marshall. And let's hear from Sarah himself. Right? Uh, it's a prestigious honor to become the Grand Marshal. And, you know, I don't think a lot of people like understand what it is tied or sort of what it entails. to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf, that's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived, we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget. I am medical director for Transgender Services. I get the opportunity to take care of some of our most vulnerable patient populations, including our LGBTQ communities, and offer them compassionate, culturally responsive care delivery that is consistent with the values of Kaiser Permanente. And for me, to be able to help someone achieve their most authentic self, to be able to um, live their most healthy life, is the best part of my job. Honolulu Pride Parade, my beautiful co MC Francine Beppu. My name is Justin Cruz, and this year's theme, Rooted in Pride, celebrates the cultural and ancestral queer roots in the island and is a project, of course, of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation, which sends a big mahalo to all their supporters and sponsors. Want to say some of the big supporters, not only this year, but throughout the years? Sure. Continuously, you know, we are a 100% volunteer-based 501c3 organization. And so without the support of many organizations, our sponsors, our volunteers, and our donors, none of this would be at all possible. So we really try our best to keep all of these events free, to keep our community involved. So big, big, big shout-out goes to our presenting sponsor, Rainbows Over Waikiki, if you've noticed, the streets all along Kalanau are all lined in these rainbow-colored flags. None of that would have been possible without the huge support of Hawaiian Airlines. Um, and Hawaiian Airlines is our presenting sponsor, a pro, and official airline of, Hawaii, of Honolulu Pride. 
visionary sponsors, Alaska Airlines, Bank of Hawaii, American Savings Bank, Central Pacific Bank, First Hawaiian Bank, Hawaii Theater Center, Hawaii Tourism Authority, Highgate Hotels, Hula's Bar and Lay Stand, and the Kaimana Beach Hotel. Also, we want to give a big shout out to where we're broadcasting from. We're actually in the heart of Waikiki, right on Kalakaua Avenue, uh, in front of the beautiful Waikiki Beach Cooler Hotel, uh, set perfectly to be in the heart of Waikiki and also in the heart of the parade. Now, people are starting to fill both sides of the street here on Kalakaua, and again, the parade route goes from Magic Island and ends at a very beautiful location. Yes, I believe this is one of the most beautiful locations to have a city pride in Honolulu. Where else can you come in October, middle of October, and see the beautiful warm ocean, see the beautiful people marching in the parade? Truly is paradise. Yeah, and those that, that are here, they're ready. Some people are just kind of relaxing on the concrete sidewalk, but there's grassy areas, and I think that's getting filled up rather quickly, and we'll see more and more of that. But what's the, the floats are not to our location right now, but you'll notice a little bit later during the broadcast when they do pass us, it's going to be noisy, it's going to be loud, it's going to be fun, not, not only for the folks that are on the float, but the people that are going to be cheering them on on this beautiful day. Now, let's head and check in uh, with Mike Moniz from Living 808. Happy Friday, everybody. We're here at the Los Angeles. Oh, Happy Friday. Okay, if you're not here, I don't know what you're doing. Make your way down to Waikiki area. We're going to be going over to the festival at Kapilani Park. The energy here is amazing. I'm so glad to be on the boat with the Los Angeles. Thank you. 
Nation itself, we have from Mahuli, Tapu, and Sammy. Here's, here they are. What? Happy Pride, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Magic Island, and we are with the Mahui. They're going to be kicking off the parade. I have Tapu and what's the chandelier? Sammy with us. How are you all doing? Happy Pride. Happy Pride. We're doing great. Aloha Pride. Aloha Pride. <laughs> Let's talk about Mahui. It's your first time in the parade. Now, Mahui is the first time the parade's been back in person in over two years. Uh, what are you excited about? And tell us about Mahui. Yeah, we're so excited to be leading the parade. It's a collaboration of over 80 queer, plus Indigo folks, Native Hawaiian, Fijian, um, Tahitian, Maoni, a whole group of people coming together just to really support and show that um, pride needs to be rooted in the place that it's at. So it needs to be rooted in the Pacific. I love that. And the, the theme this year is actually rooted in pride. So it obviously makes sense that you guys kick off the parade. I mean, big deal. First time you're kicking off the parade. I want to ask you a little bit about, um, you know, the combination of both the Hawaiian culture and the LGBT culture. What does that mean to you as a Hawaiian person? I always identify as Kanaka Mali first and Mahu second. And it is a part of our culture. It's, it's integral. There were no markers that said we were either male or female. We were our Mahu. That's built into our Mokalala Wars stories. And that's something that we share with many different indigenous cultures, especially in the Pacific. So we had Fakafine, Leiti, Mahu, so many that are documented in historic stories. Beautifully said. Um, for all of our viewers that's out there watching, they want to you know, learn a little bit more about the Mahui, maybe probably get involved, maybe next year. How can they do so? Sure. You can tune into any of our social media channels. We're part of the Legacy Foundation. It's actually the Culture and Education Committee that's been renamed as the Mahu. Love it. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to all of our viewers out there. Uh, stay with us, you guys, because we're going to have more fun from the Pride Parade here um, on the best day ever. Happy Pride! <laughs> well, we've now been told that the beginning of the parade is definitely on the move, so we should be seeing the beginning of the parade, which will feature our boy in just a few minutes here, and then after that, it's over 100 plus folks that are on the way, so Ready for this? I'm ready for it. And I'm excited. We're, we're, hopefully, we'll see them in a few minutes, but we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Care Coalition, it's so good to see you all. All right, let's brainstorm. Any ideas for new members? I'd like to nominate Alaska Airlines. This neck pillow I'm dating says great things. Ooh, a caring airline? Wait, those exist? It says here they were the first airline to switch from plastic bottles to boxed water. They also hire a lot of people from caring professions. I'm seeing former teachers and nurses. <laughs> it's settled. Alaska Airlines is officially in the running. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> Behind the wheel of a Nissan truck, every campsite becomes more remote. Every trail becomes more thrilling. And every adventure becomes a story worth telling. With best-in-class standard horsepower and impressive towing, you can do more of what you love and you can get more out of it. Get to Truck Month today at Nissan. Get 2.25% APR for 36 months on 11 models or shop our inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Welcome back to the 2022 Honolulu Pride Parade. We have the beautiful Francine Beppo. I'm going to say that a lot. Are the beautiful <laughs> Francine Beppo, because you are beautiful. And yours truly, Justin Cruz. Um, the, the, the atmosphere is set. We've got absolutely perfect weather today. We've got a great um, audience that, that's ready for some excitement. They're ready to party. And this is actually just one event of the many kids shed some other cool events that people might be interested in attending or knowing about? Sure. Um, so what's unique about Hawaii, and obviously, you know, the majority of prides across the country happen in June to honor these Stonewall riots. Um, however, many maybe have, don't realize that October is full of um, activity as well. Yeah, yeah. It's a very meaningful month because it's National LGBTQ History Month. October 11th marks National Coming Out Day, you know, Spirit Day, and all of these historical um, markers are, are in October. And so what, what we really like to do is make sure that all of our events are inclusive and open to the community. And so by holding in October, um, you know, our neighbor Highland friends and family, neighbor Island brides can come in and you'll see them in a minute, um, as well as uh, visitors from the mainland. 
so you know you can hit up all of your mainland and uh, international brides and come and join us in October. There are a lot of cool events, and just like today, which is the biggest event, let's go back to the beginning of the parade, Magic Island, where Mikey Moniz is standing by. Happy Pride, everybody! We are here getting ready for the official 2022 Little Little Pride Parade. It officially started, and I'm so excited that we are going to be alongside Alaska Airlines and a lot of local supporters. Now, the energy here, like we were saying, is amazing. Now, earlier, we had everybody come out. The music was blasting. People were dancing. Everybody was just here to celebrate love and celebrate life and celebrate inclusivity. And that's what everybody is all about here in Hawaii. And if you guys are just tuning in and you didn't know, the theme this year is rooted in pride. So how we are combining both the Hawaiian culture and the LGBT culture together. The beginning of the whole kickoff with Mahui. They are a bunch of amazing people from the Legacy Foundation who celebrate both their Hawaiian culture and their LGBT culture. Make sure you guys stay with KH12. Or even if you miss an interview, go on to KH12.com. Check out our interviews we did with the Legacy Foundation. They are amazing. Now, we just want to say that the Pride Parade is one out of many events happening throughout the year. So if you are somebody out there, know anybody that needs a little bit of assistance, needs a little bit of support, make sure you guys head, head over to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation because there's so many resources that's coming up in the future weeks to come. This is amazing. We love everybody here. Stay with KH2. We're going to have more from the Little Little Pride when we come back. Justin and Brie I'm going to hand it over to you. Happy Pride. Thanks a lot, Mikey. Um, at this time, we want to speak with uh, a man that's involved with this organization that has been very, very supportive of Pride and this event. Uh, I have Kyle Vidal with me, who's director of global media for Outrigger Resorts. Thank you for your support in the past and for your support today. What does this mean for your organization, for the people that work at Outrigger Resorts, and for you personally? Yeah, thank you, Justin. Um, we're just really happy to be able to continue to support the Pride Festival and the Pride Parade. Um, Outrigger stands for diversity and inclusiveness across the globe. Um, you know, we're just really proud to be able to continue to support the, the community and this festival. And if, if you're not familiar with Outrigger, guys, just for the, the sake of international viewers, um, this is a very, very large and very um, attached hotel chain and resort chain with the state of Hawaii. I mean, as long as I can remember Hawaii and Waikiki, I remember Outrigger Resorts. Yeah, definitely. We've been around in Hawaii for 75 years. Um, we're across the globe now, as you mentioned. So we have properties in the Maldives, Mauritius, Thailand, Fiji. But our groups are still here in Hawaii. Absolutely. Well, again, thank you very much for, for your time. Uh, anything you want to say uh, moving forward? And again, thank you for your sponsorship and your support with this. We're, by the way, at the beautiful Beachcomber, uh, which is one of my favorite places to stay. It's got everything. It's got this pool deck. It's got a coffee shop. It's got uh, the Maui crew. Uh, yeah, tell us about some exciting things going on with the Outrigger Resorts here in Hawaii. Yeah, as you mentioned, we're here at the Waikiki Beachcomber by Outrigger. We just finished an expansive renovation a couple of years ago. Um, we're just coming out of a renovation of the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort, um, and we're getting ready to invest in several of our properties across the state as well. All right. Keep, keep Outrigger in mind on your trips to Hawaii or yes, thank you. do what I do. It's just a staycation. Exactly. We have a couple of rates. Yeah, exactly. Um, by the way, I have stayed at the Reef. I've stayed at the Main. Uh, I've stayed at numerous properties. Uh, if you like beachfront, you get that too. If you want just more of the shopping and maybe away from the beach, you can get something like that. So there's some, something for everyone uh, from Upriver Resorts right here in Waikiki. Uh, before we go, I, I know I said that a few times, but uh, I, think, I think a shout out is due to your gentleman, Lynn. Yeah, at Ventura's today, he and his wife are celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. Congratulations to them. And uh, Kyle, thank you very much for joining us. Kyle Vidal, who is director of Global Media, Outrigger Resorts. We have more. In fact, I'm thinking the start of parade is just moments away right here in Waikiki Live for the 2022 Honolulu Pride Parade.
the one and only Randy Rainbow presents the Pink Glasses Tour. See four-time Emmy-nominated comedian, singer, producer, and show-stopping performer Randy Rainbow live on stage. Featuring his classic parodies, new hits, and some surprises in his inimitable style, Randy Rainbow. Hawaii Theater Center, Friday, December 2nd. Get tickets now at hawaiitheater.com. For more, visit randyrainbow.com. Doctors of Waikiki is your source for the very best urgent care in Hawaii. Innovative technology, superlative expertise, practiced with our thoughtful and comforting manner. We're your source for COVID-19 testing and diagnosis. Visit our website today to schedule an appointment. Open seven days a week with an in-house x-ray, pharmacy dispensary, and extensive laboratory, plus free Waikiki transportation and a multilingual staff. Doctors of Waikiki, compassionate care, advanced medicine, close to home. Uh, I've been told 
And I know I've been saying this, uh, but we are very close to the parade reaching where we're at in Waikiki. Now, they started from Magic Island, and I, I'm going to venture, you know, that is uh, over a mile straight shot from here. And so they're very close. And once they do get to our location here at the Outrigger Beach Comer, it's going to be fast and furious. And it's going to be like one after another after another. And again, we're going to start with Ahoy and then um, Dykes on Bikes, I think, are our second. Correct. And HPD. Yes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. HPD Mahui is very unique to this year's Pride, mm-hmm. rooted in Pride right here in Waikiki. Uh, it's so beautiful. We see the streets really filling up here. <laughs> and motorcycle lovers, again, um, Honolulu Police Department, gonna, they're going to they're gonna be on their bikes. Correct. Yeah. 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 The solo bike wedge. So you are going to hear a lot of motorcycle revving. As we look down the street, we do see the, the roads are clearly closed now. Some people crossing the street, getting their piece of real estate on the parade, parade route. And again, Hopefully, sooner rather than later, we will be jamming the 2022 Honolulu Pride Parade. We'll be right back after this break. I am medical director for Transgender Services. I get the opportunity to take care of some of our most vulnerable patient populations, including our LGBTQ communities, and offer them compassionate, culturally responsive care delivery that is consistent with the values of Kaiser Permanente. And for me, to be able to help someone achieve their most authentic self, to be able to um, live their most healthy life, is the best part of my job. OK Care Coalition, Alaska Airlines is still front runner for most caring airline. Funshine Bear, you did some of your own research, right? I sure did. According to the web, their program's number one. Earning Alaska miles is quicker and more fun. Cute. That was wonderful, sweetie. Oh, 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 I have a song about their cheese plates. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Uh, it's time for lunch. Oh. through the parade route. And again, how many different floats and organizations? Over 100? Over 150 this year. We are so excited. That is amazing. Hey, uh, earlier in the, the show, when we began our broadcast, we talked about um, your Grand Marshal, Becerra. And he's part of this uh, effort, an organization called Hate is Wrong. And we want to learn more about that and maybe how you can get involved. I have an organization called Hate is Wrong, and we go around and we do anti-bullying programs. And so we're pairing up with the Hawaii Legacy Foundation, where I'm going to be uh, going to Campbell High School. Uh, I'm going to uh, just talk to the kids and tell them, you know, tell them my life story, and hopefully it inspires them in any, you know, in anything that they do in their lives. Which is, for me, it's very, um, it's amazing because the kids that I'll be talking to was me once back in the days, right? I was them. So for me. To be able to like to speak to them is absolutely incredible. Just making sure that you know what, sky's the limit, right? You can reach for the star, you can reach for whatever you want. I was a small little banana farmer, you know, son of a banana farmer, and uh, you know, I was able to play the NFL, I was able to go to college, I was able to be on The Voice, I was able to be on Oprah and all these other shows. And uh, so, you know, you, uh, dream big, right? You have to dream big. I, you know, I, I can't think of a better. Yes, a heart of gold, a heart of gold, and, and he is making a difference, you know, no matter how big or how small you think your voice is, what, what one person can do really affects a lot of other people. Oh, very, very inspirational. Uh, Francine, you know what I'm hearing? The, I, I hear a little rev. I hear the sound oh, of oh, XPD. Oh, 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 o
supporting all of these efforts. He has been very, very supportive. Now, right behind the office of Mayor Rick Blanchardi is the Honolulu Rainbow Chamber of Commerce. As they follow the city and county of Honolulu. And if you're not familiar, the Hawaii Rainbow Chamber of Commerce is a business chamber focused on advancing opportunities for LGBTQ-owned businesses, nonprofit organizations, employees, and families. The Hawaii Rainbow Chamber of Commerce believes that the Aloha is good for business. It certainly is. And if you're going to have a vehicle in a parade, bust out the door and wide open. Is our Honolulu Pride Grand Marshal, Sarah Tapai Tuaolo. We talked about him earlier, we heard from him earlier, and now you're going to see him. Beautiful convertible cars. Oh, there's Winston from the Hawaii Rainbow Chamber. Our Grand Marshal, Sarah Tapai Tuaolo. Wonderful inspiration uh, to our community. Oh, there he goes, copy his flag. Again, he is a former NFL player. He was on the voice. He is a writer. He is a creator. And he's just a very great inspiration guy. For everyone, all walks of life. And speaking of going back to our roots um, and the Kapai Mahu stones, here's Dean Hammer and Brandy. Oh, in this yellow convertible here, we see Miss Continental, Miss Hawaii Continental. Part of the Continental. Yes, yeah, Mr. Has returned to Hawaii under the direction of Monoiki. Anuban and Andrew Ogata, who is also co-chair of the Pride Parade and sits on the board of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. Right on. Up next, folks, Hawaiian Airlines. I am over the top excited to yeah. see this parade float entry. Um, I've heard a ton about it, and now... We're going to see this live. Uh, you know, they always, they always have a huge, huge turnout. Uh, and, and, you know, at least in the three years that Francine and I have been emceeing this event, uh, Hawaiian Airlines, the official sponsor of the Pride, proudly supports Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. I wanted to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf, that's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived, we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget. Behind the wheel of a Nissan truck, every campsite becomes more remote, every trail becomes more thrilling, and every adventure becomes a story worth telling. With best-in-class standard horsepower and impressive towing, you can do more of what you love, and you can get more out of it. Get to Truck Month today at Nissan. Get 2.25% APR for 36 months on 11 models, or shop our inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Up next, 
next on the agenda is Chair Honolulu. We had a bit of them while we had them. And Honolulu front runners and front walkers. Let's talk about that organization. Yes, they're a group that provides encouragement and support to gay men, lesbians, and all others with an interest in running or walking to encourage wellness and healthy social connections. Up next on deck, Aloha Maui Pride, which is the not-for-profit organization celebrating and honoring the LGBTQIA plus community on Maui. We are so excited to have our neighbor island brides being able to join us. Maui, no kai moe, and that's cute. I love that. And actually, their pride was about a week ago, oh, last week. So, you know, it's great that we're all able to support each other. Looks like we have the Aloha Bears. The Aloha Bears is another nonprofit group that we have the Barn Barns Bears. Everyone who wouldn't put the barns that we shouldn't care for the item. So we're going to be caught up by raising funds for local charities and awareness of important issues. Aloha Bears! And here we have all of the gay sports leagues celebrating together.
Doctors of Waikiki is your source for the very best urgent care in Hawaii. Innovative technology, superlative expertise, practiced with our thoughtful and comforting manner. We're your source for COVID-19 testing and diagnosis. Visit our website today to schedule an appointment. Open seven days a week with an in-house x-ray, pharmacy dispensary, and extensive laboratory, plus free Waikiki transportation and a multilingual staff. Doctors of Waikiki, compassionate care, advanced medicine, close to home. The one and only Randy Rainbow presents the Pink Glasses Tour. See four-time Emmy-nominated comedian, singer, producer, and show-stopping performer Randy Rainbow live on stage. Featuring his classic parodies, new hits, and some surprises in his inimitable style, Randy Rainbow. Hawaii Theater Center, Friday, December 2nd. Get tickets now at hawaiitheater.com. For more, visit randyrainbow.com. with our friends at Hawaiian Telcom for a, quick, a few quick words. Back here at Magic Island, we're getting ready to kick off the 2022 Pride Parade with Hawaiian Telcom! Happy Pride! This is so exciting! so wonderful to, to just be here and represent Hawaiian Telecom and supporting. Joey, let, let, let's talk about being here right now. For those for those who are watching at home and maybe might want to stop by later for the festivals, you know, other Pride events, what is the energy like when you saw all of your co-workers coming together this morning? What was going through your mind? Oh, well, first off, like, since it's our first, obviously, I'm, I'm really, I'm pumped up, I'm super excited, but the energy here, you can just feel it radiating. Right, and it's just, a, it's just. I, I mean, my name is Joy, so I'm always joyful. But for over here, like you just feel the love and joy and aloha, you know, just just standing here, and we're so excited. To, we we just want to we just want to march, you know, and just get just do the parade and, and feel the energy from the spectators, from from everyone here. So yeah. it's a celebration of love. We love you. We love connecting with you. Exactly. <laughs> Hawaiian Telecom loves connecting with the community. We love connecting. For everyone coming out to celebrate. So we're really excited. Joy, thank you so much for talking to all of our viewers out there. Thank you to Hawaii Telecom. Happy Pride. Have fun out there. I'll see you at the end of the festival. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Happy Pride. All right. Thank you very much, Mikey Moniz. Hey, we do have to really thank Hawaii Telecom because without Hawaii Telecom, this broadcast would not have happened. They are so instrumental. And, you know, getting all that technology together, uh, we've worked uh, you know, countless hours, and Hawaiian Telecom has been there every single step of the way. So on behalf of all the production crew and KHON2, uh, we want to thank Hawaiian Telecom for not just being a, a sponsor, but just being a huge part 
of getting the signal, getting that signal out, and getting the word out to everybody so that they can join the 2022 Pride Parade by uh, broadcasting live right here from Waikiki. We'll have more right after the break. Coalition. It's so good to see you all. All right, let's brainstorm. Any ideas for new members? I'd like to nominate Alaska Airlines. This neck pillow I'm dating says great things. Ooh. A caring airline? Wait, those exist? It says here they were the first airline to switch from plastic bottles to boxed water. They also hire a lot of people from caring professions. I'm seeing former teachers and nurses. Oh. It's settled. Alaska Airlines is officially in the running. Oh. Round of applause. Yeah. I am medical director for Transgender Services. I get the opportunity to take care of some of our most vulnerable patient populations, including our LGBTQ communities, and offer them compassionate, culturally responsive care delivery that is consistent with the values of Kaiser Permanente. And for me, to be able to help someone achieve their most authentic self, to be able to um, live their most healthy life, is the best part of my job. Side. 
the LGBTQ community with youth mentors, families, and staff in supporting justice, equality, diversity, and inclusion. We have a state that, uh, we always check in with John Denary from Living 808 to see what he's up to. John? I ended up stopping because we were with the uh, Alexander Baldwin and Charlie, so we stopped to get here in front of the cameras. I, I will say, and I'm a little bit proud of myself, I got my steps in. I walked the whole thing. As you can see, I'm sweating. But, man, this has been so much fun. Everybody's just having a great time. The preparation going into this before it all started back in Magic Island was just incredible. And so now, here it is. And I wasn't really expecting this many people on the route. But there are so many people in here. Here's my, uh, my co-host. Here's Kelly. Kelly jumping in with us now. Thank you. 
started to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf, that's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived, we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget. Behind the wheel of a Nissan truck, every campsite becomes more remote. Every trail becomes more thrilling. And every adventure becomes a story worth telling. With best-in-class standard horsepower and impressive towing, you can do more of what you love and you can get more out of it. Get to Truck Month today at Nissan. Get 2.25% APR for 36 months on 11 models or shop our inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Are you having? 
describe it out here? Uh, it's uh, contagious. I, you can't help but yell happy pride at everyone that walks by. Well, that's what it is. It's been so great. The camaraderie, the love that's going around is so wonderful. So thank you, Brink family, for letting me and safe travels back to Maui. All right, back to you guys. We had First Hawaiian Bank coming through, the visionary sponsor. We are so thankful. They were a strong supporter of Honolulu Rise over these past years. They're the largest bank in committed diversity and inclusivity. Inclusivity and belonging are cornerstones of their business to creating a stronger and connected community. Speaking of community, there are a ton of Orchards here, one after another. High energy. This is quite an amazing year for a comeback and in person. I think uh, we are at Paris United Methodist Church. And there is how we can explain. Paris United Methodist Church. sexual orientations and gender identities. Again, all of this Christ Church uniting is an ex- it, inclusive progressive community of faith, witnessing to inclusive love, encouraging spiritual growth, and working for social justice. And what's really interesting, Justin, is that all of these churches, this is the more time of the year that all of the different faiths, no matter what religion you are, what you represent, what your sexual identity is, what your gender pronouns are. This is the one time each year when we celebrate each other. We really are here to uplift each other and to celebrate the diversity within the community. And that's what it really is all about. You know, there's really no agenda here except for this. You're going to see uh, different uh, religious organizations We've just seen Christ Church uniting. We we are seeing the church on the crossroads making their way. We also have the United Church of Christ on the Judge Street and many, many more of different faiths uh, that you're going to be seeing as they move by our broadcast right in front of the outbreak of Viking Key Beach. Positivity, high energy, smiling faces. All right, let's check out Mikey Moniz. Diversity and inclusion, and welcome guests and true wine style. 
success of previous Pride parades, and people just want to get involved. Let's just show some love. So, one of the prosecuting attorney welcomes deputy prosecutors and their support staff, which is what you see right now. They're proud of their diverse staff, including members of the LGBTQ.
community and it's committed to creating a safe space or safe spaces for students and educators to thrive. All right, the 2022 Honolulu Pride Parade Live from Waikiki right down Kalakaua Avenue will continue after this quick break. Doctors of Waikiki is your source for the very best urgent care in Hawaii. Innovative technology, superlative expertise, practiced with our thoughtful and comforting manner. We're your source for COVID-19 testing and diagnosis. Visit our website today to schedule an appointment. Open seven days a week with an in-house x-ray, pharmacy dispensary, and extensive laboratory, plus free Waikiki transportation and a multilingual staff. Doctors of Waikiki, compassionate care, advanced medicine, close to home. OK Care Coalition, Alaska Airlines is still front runner for most caring airline. Funshine Bear, you did some of your own research, right? I sure did. According to the web, their program's number one. Earning Alaska miles is quicker and more fun. Cute. That was wonderful, sweetie. Oh, 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 I have a song about their cheese plates. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Uh, it's time for lunch. Oh.
I wanted to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf, that's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived, we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget. Presents the Pink Glasses Tour. See four-time Emmy-nominated comedian, singer, producer, and show-stopping performer, Randy Rainbow, live on stage. Featuring his classic parodies, new hits, and some surprises in his inimitable style, Randy Rainbow. Hawaii Theater Center, Friday, December 2nd. Get tickets now at hawaiitheater.com. For more, visit randyrainbow.com.
again, Justin, the origin of pride was always as a protest in order to create more equity in our community. So again, there are multiple different messages, but at the end of the day, um, everyone's coming together to celebrate love and community. The way it should be. All right, down in the distance, we have Hawaii Opera Theater, major art company, Baysdale, and in Studio 101 throughout the year. We appreciate their support. Oh, that's so cool. They got some of those uh, costumes that they use in the opera. I am medical director for Transgender Services. I get the opportunity to take care of some of our most vulnerable patient populations, including our LGBTQ communities, and offer them compassionate, culturally responsive care delivery that is consistent with the values of Kaiser Permanente. And for me, to be able to help someone achieve their most authentic self, to be able to um, live their most healthy life, is the best part of my job. Doctors of Waikiki is your source for the very best urgent care in Hawaii. Innovative technology, superlative expertise, practiced with our thoughtful and comforting manner. We're your source for COVID-19 testing and diagnosis. Visit our website today to schedule an appointment. Open seven days a week with an in-house x-ray, pharmacy dispensary, and extensive laboratory, plus free Waikiki transportation and a multilingual staff. Doctors of Waikiki, compassionate care, advanced medicine, close to home. It's going great. The place of fire, the place for shock. And I will 
right, thanks a lot, Mikey. Uh, Justine and Francine here, that's got a nice kind of rhyme to it. <laughs> and we, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more of the Pride of Radio. Care Coalition, it's so good to see you all. All right, let's brainstorm. Any ideas for new members? I'd like to nominate Alaska Airlines. This neck pillow I'm dating says great things. Ooh, a caring airline? Wait, those exist? It says here they were the first airline to switch from plastic bottles to boxed water. They also hire a lot of people from caring professions. I'm seeing former teachers and nurses. <laughs> it's settled. Alaska Airlines is officially in the running. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> Behind the wheel of a Nissan truck, every campsite becomes more remote. Every trail becomes more thrilling. And every adventure becomes a story worth telling. With best-in-class standard horsepower and impressive towing, you can do more of what you love, and you can get more out of it. Get to Truck Month today at Nissan. Get 2.25% APR for 36 months on 11 models, or shop our inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. One and only Randy Rainbow presents the Pink Glasses Tour. See four-time Emmy-nominated comedian, singer, producer, and show-stopping performer Randy Rainbow live on stage. Featuring his classic parodies, new hits, and some surprises in his inimitable style. Randy Rainbow. Hawaii Theater Center, Friday, December 2nd. Get tickets now at hawaiitheater.com. For more, visit randyrainbow.com. I wanted to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf, that's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived, we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget.
OK Care Coalition, Alaska Airlines is still frontrunner for most caring airline. Funshine Bear, you did some of your own research, right? I sure did. According to the web, their program's number one. Earning Alaska miles is quicker and more fun. Cute. That was wonderful, sweetie. Oh, 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 I have a song about their cheese plates. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. It's time for lunch. Oh. For me, it was life or death. In the beginning, he seemed polite and respectful. The manipulation was so clever that it took time to recognize the danger. I thought this was love. The Domestic Violence Action Center has staff whose work is dedicated to serving the LGBTQ plus community. Your safety is their priority. I wanted to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf, that's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived, we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget. Why did I wait so long to see a retina specialist? Retinal disease can steal your eyesight, but it doesn't have to. Patients who seek care from a retina specialist have the best chance of preventing vision loss due to age-related macular degeneration or diabetic retinopathy. AMD symptoms to look out for are distortion or warping of straight lines, as well as blurred or loss of central vision. Patients with diabetic retinopathy should seek treatment if they notice the appearance of spots or floaters or blurred and distorted vision. Visit seeforalifetime.org.